Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. So friends, in this video, we'll see how we can bulk update the user properties, which are not synced from Azure AD to SharePoint user profiles. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and before we proceed with today's video demonstration, we basically need to understand what is user profile synchronization. So friends, Microsoft SharePoint uses the Active Directory synchronization job to import the users and the group attribute information into the user profile application which we call UPA. So when a new user is added on Azure Active Directory, the user account information is sent to SharePoint Directory Store and the UPA sync process creates a profile in the user profile application based on a predetermined set of attributes. Once the profile has been created, any modification to these attributes will be synced as a part of a regular schedule sync process. So friends, before we proceed, basically we need to understand the sync process. So basically there are four steps in the sync process. Initially, if you have the on-prem environment, so what happens? Azure AD Connect syncs the data from the on-premises Active Directory to the Azure AD. Okay. Then after that, once the profile is synced to the Azure AD, then Azure AD syncs the data from the Azure AD to the SharePoint Directory Store. Then the UPS sync process syncs the user account information in the SharePoint Directory Store to the user profile application, which we called UPA. Then from the UPA, the information get sync to SharePoint sites, which we call that site collection. So friends, this was the sync process. And now let's talk about what are the properties which only sync from the Azure AD to the UPA. So for that, let me open one article of Microsoft in the new tab. So if I will scroll down, so you can see the properties that are synced to the SharePoint user profiles. So you can see the following Azure AD users attribute are syncs to UPA. This, this uh, Azure AD attributes or I would say the property automatically syncs to UPA of the user like the user principal name, display name, given name, SN, telephone number, proxy address, physical delivery office name, title, department. Only these properties which are mentioned over there are only get sync. Apart from these properties, none of the properties get automatically sync from the Azure AD to SharePoint user profiles. So for today's video demonstration, I will go to more features. I will open user profile, manage user profiles and here I will enter my name and I will click on find. Let me click on this down arrow and edit my profile. So now friends, as I've mentioned in the article, the work phone will be automatically synced from the Azure AD to the UPA, to the user profiles. But what if? If I want to add the mobile number of the user. So basically this particular property will not get sync from the Azure AD to user profile. So what we'll do, we will just bulk update this property for the users so that we can have the mobile phone inside user profiles because this particular property will not get sync from the Azure AD. So it's a manual process which, which we need to follow. So let's open Azure portal as well in the new tab. All right, let's go to Azure Active Directory. I will click on users and let's take my account for example. All right, this is my internal account. Edit map properties. So here you can see this is the user profile properties and you can see mobile number is also not entered over here. If, if in case I will enter the mobile phone number over here, it will not get synced to UPA, even if I will enter the mobile phone. So friends, let's see how we can, you know, update property of phone, mobile phone in the UPA in bulk. So for that, we will use our PNP command. So let's open the PowerShell. I will select run IAC as administrator. So this is our command, which we will use to bulk update the property of a user profile. So here we need to enter the site URL of our SharePoint admin center. So for that, let's copy the admin center URL. So this is our URL. I will copy it. 
let's go back to powershell we'll paste it now it will connect to pnp online url site url import csv now here we have to create one csv file in which we will enter the user principal name and the mobile phone number mobile number of the users which we want to update in front of their user principal name so i have already created one csv file let me show you that all right so this is the csv file which i have created and here i have mentioned user principal name and the mobile number so i have taken the two users of my organization to demonstrate today's video you can enter as many as upn of the users to update the property i will just simply save this all right let me close it all right let's go to our powershell okay now here we have to enter the path where exactly we have saved that csv file so for that let's copy the path all right so here is my csv file so i will just simply click on it let me copy the path i will paste the path over here our command is getting executed okay friends so now our command is executed and now let's go to our user profile in sharepoint online and let's see whether mobile number is updated for our both the users or not all right so now we are on user profile let me refresh the page once okay if i will scroll down a bit and now you can see for rachit the mobile number is updated let's check for ritika as well so i will remove this i will type ritika okay for now ritika i will click on edit my profile and now we'll scroll down a bit and you can see for ritika as well the mobile phone number is now updated so friends that's how we can update the user user property in user profile in sharepoint that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video